my friends. Well, he was supposed to be back last week for the Texas game. Now, Bob Stoops confirms today running back Keith Ford is out for the Kansas State game as well. And who knows when his foot injury will heal. And speaking of running, why isn't the OU quarterback running more? Caden explores that for us. Well, the Sooners may have reclaimed that golden hat with another defeat of Texas, but you may not have known it from the tone of today's uh, weekly no, Bob Stoops press conference. Everybody. You know, that's the nature of what you guys do. It's the nature of what fans do, but, uh, you know, that's okay. As long as things aren't going perfectly, um, there's going to be criticism. There's going to be those those doubts, and it's you got to just stay internal on that and stay confident in who you are as a player, who you are as a team. After losing to TCU and then being outgained by 250 yards against Texas, Sooner Nation is asking questions. Most frequently, why in the heck isn't Trevor Knight running the ball anymore? Would you like to see more from the quarterback run game? All at times, yeah. You know, we can do better in that, and that's in all areas, but. Uh, you know, we're going to continue to have that in the game plan and take it when it's there. We called it up a few times the other day and they just didn't give us the, the pool read. And so it doesn't look like a zone read, but in fact it was called. There's a feeling, Bob, that you're still being cautious with regard to him picking the spots just because of the, the health from a year ago. You want to keep him from taking shots. There's, that's, a, that's something to, for sure to consider if you're in my shoes. Definitely. You see people around the country lose their starting quarterbacks. Things don't generally work out real well. Knight and the Sooners offense better find some answers soon. Coming to town this week, the Big 12's number one rush defense in Kansas State. From here in Norman, Katie McFarland, 2 News works for you.